what is up everybody welcome to my first video today i'm going to be uh tying a fly for you guys i'm going to be tying a uh, pheasant tail with a uh lively legs legs on it it's gonna look pretty cool let's see how it turns out the first thing i do is i debarb my hook when i debarb my hook it's just so i can get the bead on and so i don't have to do it on the water i'm using a 12 size hook and a 2.4 millimeter bead. I make it the hook as high as possible on the vase and I take my brown thread slide the bead all the way up and I just tighten the thread down go all the way back to the hook point. When you reach the hook point I grab the remainder thread, the tag thread and I snip it off. Then I just finish tightening that down so it's not sticking up. And then I wrap all the way back up to the bead. And what I'm doing here is I'm just building my taper. So I'm putting a lot underneath the bead. And I'm working my way halfway down of the thread that's already built up. A little more than halfway. doesn't really matter. It all depends on what you guys like. Then I go all the way back up to the bead. I'm using the Lively Legs purple size medium uh, Lively Legs. They, they come in all different colors, all different sizes. I really like the white ones, the pink ones, and now I'm trying the purple. So with this, the, the, the uh, smaller side is what's their top legs. I start on the side because it tends to slide up. I don't know if you guys saw that. But it slides up onto the top of the hook. And then I do around three wraps. That's three, four. And then I move to the middle section. Make sure the legs are staying even on top of the hook. One, two, three. Then I drop back behind the last set of legs. And when I do that, I do it again, three wraps, one, two, three. Make sure your legs are staying kind of straight. It doesn't look so good. It looks good, but it, it, mean, it looks better if the legs are straight. So then you take this tag and this tag end right here, and you just trim them. Don't hit your legs or your thread. Once you trim these, I tend to tighten the... Uh, it down just a little bit more on the end and just build my taper down here too I'm just pinching that rest of the stuff that I didn't get down and I just tighten it down I'm using copper wire for my ribbing you don't need a lot because you start halfway back and you don't need to wrap all the way up the fly you start right behind the end of the legs that was a bad spot to put them. I tend to have them on the opposite side of me. I tend to start it on the opposite side of me. It oh, that fell out. So you just gotta make sure you grab it the first time. I start on top and let it slide down to the other side. I pull it through sometimes so I don't have to wrap that much. And then I just wrap all the way down. Wrap it all the way down to, I wrap it down to the bend, a little past the bend. It all depends on where you want your pheasant tails to go. So I just wrap it up just to make sure it's tightened down. Then I wrap all the way back down. This flies a lot of wrapping, but it pays off in the water. All the other lively legs that I've tied pay off, so it's worth it. Then you take your pheasant tail. I tend to use a little bit more pheasant tail just because you use it as your wing case and it seems to be a little bit easier with uh, a little bit more pheasant tail all depending on how much leftover or tail you want you line it up I do a pinch wrap you want to slide the thread all the way back to the end and keep it pinched down there and just 
tight, really tighten it down right there. Sorry about that. When you tighten it down, pick the remainder up, and I just t really push that back on top of what I just tied in, and I tighten that down. The reason why I do that, it makes the, uh, when I wrap the pheasant tail, it makes it look better, and then I wrap in between the legs and just let this thread sit there. And I take my pheasant tail, I do a little spin just to keep them together, and then I wrap. When you're wrapping, sometimes they spread apart, so that's exactly why I uh, tend to spin them in my hand. I don't know if you guys can see that, but they're separating. You don't really want them to separate, because then when it comes to the final part, it looks a little weird. But once you get up to the end, right at the bottom set of legs, you want to do a wrap just to hold it off. Make sure your legs aren't getting twisted like that one is, just a little bit, so you can pull it up. Then I place my thread in, in between the legs again, the middle two, and that should the, the remainder pheasant tail should be standing perfectly straight up. Then you take your copper wiring. All depends on how you want to wrap it. Sometimes, oh, see? That just one just broke off. So let me clear that off. Okay, I got that. So it all depends on how you want to wrap your copper wiring, how you want it to look. But on a pheasant tail, you don't really want them close together. So I tend to spread them out as even as possible to just make it even look better. Tighter wraps the better, it, it pushes the uh, pheasant tails down more because you're not, you don't have to glue back here so make sure you're going under the legs not on top of the legs the last wrap when you get up to here you want it to go right on top of your thread it makes the thread stronger see how it's going to push down just hold it up as you wrap into the middle section then you just want to tighten the copper wiring down so you can break it off. As you can see, I'm doing a couple wraps, or not a couple, a lot of wraps here just to hold it down very well. See how this leg's getting twisted? You don't really want that to happen. Helicopter off the uh, copper wiring. Then I take um, peacock curl. I normally take two or three. I find with two, I normally break one as I'm looping it around. So I normally use three just so I have an extra three. It makes it even look bigger. So uh, yeah, cut off the ends to they're about even. Then you wanna tie them in, in the middle section of your legs. It's okay to have a little extra here because nobody, the fish won't see them or you will see them. You won't see them, so it doesn't really matter. When you come underneath the legs, just lift up that one side so you get underneath them without damaging them. Now it's time to wrap your peacock curl. Wrap as many times as you want. Just to your liking. I like it when it gets built up a bit, so uh, I keep wrapping until it's fits my satisfaction. Again, when you go under the legs, lift up that one side, bring it underneath, and start wrapping. You want to remember to wrap close to the bead because there is a gap there. See, I just broke one. But there is a gap up there. So you do want to get that gap. Once I like how big that, that, that section is, I tie it off. I do a couple wraps and make sure your legs are all still even. Then I snip off the remainder of the pheasant, the uh, peacock curl. You don't want to snip off any of the legs here because then you just ruin the fly. 
So then the remainder of the uh, pheasant tail. I normally use my thumb just to spread it out a little bit as my wing case. When I do that, I do a little pinch wrap just to snug it up. And then I come back, do a series of wraps on top of it just to hold it down. And then I lift up the pheasant tail and wrap behind it just because that even cinches them down even more even after you cut them and it makes them even stronger so then they should be standing up when you finish so then you snip them off do a couple more wraps just to make it stronger Do your whip finish. It all depends on the fly, but I usually do eight, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Snip the tag end off as close as possible because you don't want a remainder of the tag. Don't snip your legs. There you go. And then for my glue, I use the U the Loon Outdoors UV Fly Finish. It's the thin version. All I really do is put it on the thread around the bead just to cinch it down even more. With the rotating vase, you can rotate the fly so you can get everywhere. And then with your purple UV light, you hit the fly. You don't need a lot with this. It really hardens the glue very, very fast. So there you have it. You got your pheasant tail with the lively legs, purple legs. It looks very, very well out of the water and in the water the fish tend to love this pattern and i love the design of this fly you can get the legs at livelylegs.com so yeah have fun um the fly looks very well in the water